Have you ever had one of those mornings where you wake up and think, how am I in my 30s already? Yeah, that's been me lately. Also, if you're just tuning in, hey, I'm Jen. And I have been daydreaming about this moment since I was 15. The freedom to go out whenever and own a closet that can compete with Cher Horowitz's. That was the dream. Sounds shallow, but hey, it was the 90s. I've spent most of my life trying to grow up as fast as I could. But these days, I just wanna pause and examine this chapter in my life. This is my husband, Ben. We've been together for eight years. This is our fur baby, Cheeky. And our son, Lennon. He's almost a year old now. And now that he's here, we've transformed into a genuine family. Yay! Yay! My 30s have easily been my favorite decade so far. I mean, granted I'm only two years in, but I highly recommend this chapter for everyone. You still feel youthful, but you have all the wisdom that you've gathered in your 20s. You're more financially stable. You know what's working for you, what's not. You just feel more confident in yourself because you just care less about trivial things. Whenever I'm having like an off day, I just remember that I have been spending my entire life wanting everything that I have right now. And if I'm being honest, it's even better than what I imagined. We're a lot more stocked in the pantry than I thought, uh, but today is like farmer's market day, it's Tuesday. So I feel like I should get some fresh produce. Stuff in the pantry is looking good, but maybe the fridge is a different story. All right, all right. I can get like some bits and bobs. I'm just gonna quickly make a little list of the things that I should get at the farmer's market, and then I'll be on my way. Hey, I make music from my base. I done came up and got fame. I'm the go in a replace. 35K on my bracelet. These bitches I don't fuck with. There's actually one thing that I'm just dying to try right now, which is this roasted garlic. The woman said that this is essentially just like a garlic sauce that you could pour on anything. I also have some boiled pasta from the other night. Mm, this is just next level. I think there's like Parmesan in here. Oh! Today on the menu we have chicken, potatoes, pollo, papas. Bye, Norma. I'm practicing. I'm practicing every day.
has dinner plans tonight. So I've got the whole house to myself. Baby's down for his deep slumber and I am treating myself to this delicious bowl of mushroom ravioli smothered in roasted garlic sauce. Does life get any better than this? And the cherry on top is I have the new season of Love Island in front of me. I'm on episode 28. Let's try some ravioli. Mm. I'm like very excited for the Casa Amor episode. That's what I'm waiting for. Mm hmm. Oh my god. How cute. I have to say well tonight. Hold on, I'm sorry. The wait is so. Casa Amor. Yes! 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 Oh, I have to watch this tonight, I'm sorry. I'm gonna watch another episode. I was, I was gonna edit this vlog, but that's not happening. It's not happening. On my way to West Hollywood, I'm about to get my seasonal facial. It is, oh my god, it's about to be like the end of summer. No, we still got a whole month. It's still August. It's only August. Ideally, I would like to get four facials a year. One each season, just for maintenance. I personally haven't done any procedures yet. I think like if I were to do one, it might be Botox, but I don't know. I think I'm chilling. I think I'm chilling for now. Like I do have like, like, uh, like lines on my forehead, but is that strange that I'm not really bothered by them? I feel like I used to be more hung up on them when I was in like my mid twenties where I was like, oh my gosh, like I have smile lines, I have crow's feet. And I thought that I should get Botox, but it was one of those things where I just kept on like putting it off because I was scared. And now that I'm like 31 and like my lines are even, I guess more, more exaggerated, I just like, I kind of don't care. I'm like afraid of what it would feel like to just have my face feel frozen. But I don't know, I feel like it's just such a common procedure. I don't know, no shame to anyone who's done it. I'm also waiting to see what like the long-term side effects are of just consistent Botox because it just feels like such a short-term thing. Like you get it done and then you have to get a redone like every three to four months. I'm like, is that something I want to add to my routine? But for now, I think facials will do. Freshly extracted, freshly massaged, freshly sculpted. It's everything. I love it. Oh my goodness. My 
parents just left to go to church and yeah they spent the weekend with us it was so so lovely i feel like this is a time in my life where i truly cherish my parents there's no resentment no animosity or like i don't know i feel like like parents and family like they have the potential to just to be able to trigger you very, very quickly. Like what's that Ram Dass quote? Like you know when you're enlightened, when you can spend a weekend with your parents. I've always been really close with my mom, but like now I can really safely say that me and my dad are so close. I don't know what changed, or actually I do know what changed. To be honest, I think it's just like my perspective has changed a lot on people where it's easier for me to let people just be. I think in my 20s, I was in like full like diagnosis and fix mode. And it's like a lot of times like things don't need to be fixed, especially people, you can't fix people. And truthfully, when I got into my self-development phase, like when I was 25, that was one of the best things that happened to me. But also like, I think I got a little carried away. Like I just wanted to fix everything. Just everything about me, my personality, just like healing as fast as I could. But yeah, I think because I was so, so like critical on myself, it just made me examine everyone in this like, what, what do we need to fix you? Like now that I'm in this mode of just like radical self-acceptance, it's just so much more easy to be around other people and accept them as they are. Especially it's, it's always like the people closest to you, right? Like family. So yeah, I feel like my relationship with my parents have never been better. And I think that I'm just so incredibly fortunate to have both of them alive, healthy, still married. I think it's just easier for me to see the gifts that I have in my life right now. I ordered my mom Chinese food yesterday. She didn't eat the fortune cookie. So let's see what the fortune says. A pleasant surprise is in store for you. This is like a nice vague fortune. The right building. It's not the right building. All right, good. It's across the street. So today we are going to our management's office warming party. Yeah. It's really exciting. Yeah. I've been on YouTube for 12 years. I've only been with one management company. Rare. Rare genuinely feels like being in a family. I'm so close with everyone involved and I love that they take out the time to make these special moments for us to connect with other creators and our team. I want you to meet my manager, Ashley. I feel like I was a lot more wild in that I had energy in my 20s, and now I feel a lot more settled. Look at what we've created. I know, the <laughs> office is so good! I'm very proud of our office. And this is Van Ann. What are you looking forward to in your 30s? Just doing more and having more and being able to support you know, the people in my life more. In your 30s, you, you have more means to do what you want and that's really exciting, you know? You can live with more intention. How's your 30s been Oh, then? my 30s, I've been here for a little while in my 30s. They've been, <laughs> they have been the best, best decade of my life, easily, obviously. Gen, baby, all that stuff. The wisdom that comes with old age, you know, I think it's fantastic. And having, like Vanan said, more intention, more love, more gratitude, and being able to do things as a community working together. So when you see things like this, this is what happens in your 30s. You know, people come together, full love, gratitude, it's beautiful. Hey, where's your office? This is my office. Now protect the back. Yes. What is this, Jessica? It's really good mochi from Little Tokyo. Wait, that's you as a mochi. <laughs> if you were mochi, that would literally be you. Do you like filling or no filling? I like red bean. Okay, the red beans are actually really good here. Okay. This one. This mm. one? Yes. This one looks so plain. Yeah. I'm sure it's like a party. I hope it's not one red bean. Ooh. One of the res best red beans, right? Nanga? Oh my god. Let us make you. Well, no! Let it take you. <laughs> I, 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 let us I know what I want. It's right here. No, just your intuition. Mm. Strawberry. I love the sushi. Mm. Fresh. Like, fresh strawberry. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here's the tail beat. The tail beat. 